yes, I've been crying. I'm just over it. Like, I'm so... You can tell I look fit and every time she a dime she don't care about the phone like I ain't lying. You can tell I look fit and every time she a dime she don't care about the phone like I ain't lying. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Miss Chi. I'm gonna come chat with you guys. And yes, I've been crying. I'm talk to you guys about what I'm going through right now, and I'm just so over it. I'm like really, really over it. So, I'm crying because I'm in pain. I'm not, and and to be honest with you, your pain's not at a ten for me to be crying like this. But I have lived in pain since I was seventeen, and in sixty more days, I'll be closer to fifty. <laughs> 1040 so to let you know how long I've been in pain and most of it has been from my reproductive system those organs just didn't they hated me didn't want to work with me so I've had 17 surgeries or surgical procedures on just that part of my body And right now I'm experiencing this pain and they have done a sonogram and a CT scan with contrast and see nothing which is usually good news and I was initially happy about that but this pain will not go away and in the evening it gets so much worse And it's right where my ovary, I only have one ovary, my left ovary. I mean, if I thought it was, it, I mean, if I had a right ovary and the pain was over there, I would think, you know, appendix, but it's on the left side. Right where my left ovary is in that area. But there's nothing on the ovary. It's not twisted. But... I am thinking that maybe it's stuck to my colon by scar tissue. And you can't see scar tissue on a sono or a CT or an MRI. You can see some soft tissue, but you can't see the scar tissue. I specifically asked that question. And, um, that's what I think it is. Why? One thing I... One... For one... When I'm walking... My left leg actually feels like it's pulling my insides. With every step, it feels like it's pulling or tugging on something. Right there where the ovary is. Like it's pulling my organs. Two, the second reason why I think that it is scar tissue is because because I've had so many female problems I see the gynecologist more than once a year and um, I get sonos more than once a year and the last three including the one I had yesterday they couldn't find my ovary and it just dawned on me right now. And if I'm seeing them like every six, eight months, like if he looks at the report and says, okay, there's no cyst, there's no anything. But they couldn't find it. And this is the third time I had to push on my stomach and they're like, oh, it's just floating around in there. And I'm like, yeah, it is. But is it really just floating around in there? I mean, no matter what we do to push it around, push my stomach around, barely get an image of it. The CT scan would show the image, but I mean, I didn't look at it, and he just looked at the report. But if it was out of place, I'm thinking that 
that would have also been in the report. Or maybe not. Maybe they're used to seeing ovaries, you know, move around because it is just kind of floating out there. And I don't have any other organs over there, so it goes where it wants to go. So that's my thought process. And it is at this point depressing me to be in pain for so long and so many years. I mean, how much can one person take? And at this moment, I'm glad I only have a few subscribers. And I'm also not glad because I kind of want suggestions. I, My doctor says it might be scar tissue. The only way he can tell is if he opens me up. How do I get him to just go ahead and do it? Mean, I'm at that point. Like, open me up, please. I need you to look in there and see what is wrong. Because I, I can't. I'm just so done with the pain. And I start crying and I get beside myself because I'm depressed about constantly being in pain. And I think it's abdominal pain because I've had abdominal pain or pelvic area pain for so long. Like I can have pain in other parts of my body. My I have chronic pain in my back. Because I was rear-ended by a huge truck. An 18-wheeler. My husband doesn't think it was an 18-wheeler. But it was. But, um... What was I saying? But yeah. Like, the pain in my back, before I had back surgery, yeah, it got me. Because it was nerve pain, and you can't do anything for nerve pain. There's no medication. There's, I mean, there's. It doesn't take it away, it, unless you have one of those stimulators. But this abdominal pain, like, even though I haven't experienced it in a while, just the fact that I'm experiencing it, it just brings me right back to like always being in pain. And I don't know why that happens. If I'm only in pain like this once or twice a year, you would think that I could handle it, right? Once or twice a year, it's not super severe pain, but it's more than uncomfortable. It's, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's like a 6 set. So, yeah, I just... Wish I had some advice on whether or not I should get my doctor to, um, or how to get my doctor to just look. At this point, I don't care. I just, I need some relief. So, I don't know. I just had to get this out because I was feeling it. I mean, I don't know. I need to make dinner, but walking makes it worse, like real bad when I move around. I don't know why by the end of the day it bothers me so bad. I tried to hold off Sunday as long as I could, and I finally, midnight, I took myself to the doc, the ER. Not going back to ER. I don't even know what to ask the doctors for. What kind of doctor? I don't want to go through a billion tests and a billion doctor's visits that I have to take off work for. Um, if I can't take off work, I'll have to wait for a day that I can take off work. And all that waiting while I'm in pain, like I, that's what I'm not down for. That is what I'm not down for. I do not want to go to my PCP and him send me to 20 different specialists. I, I'm not. I'm not down for that. There's no way. I'm not waiting another two, three weeks. Well, I don't know what else to do. But I guess I will figure something out. I have an appointment in the morning. No, oh, and that's the thing with my doctor. Not that he just doesn't want to open me up. I have to have another surgery from another surgeon. It's a surgeon that he referred me to. So he doesn't see any reason, and I don't either, see any reason to get opened up twice. So he'd rather that doctor 
schedule his surgery now open me up and then they both fix what they have to fix it seems like a good plan but I can't have that surgery until like the 17th of July but I, there's, I can't that's four weeks away there's no no way that I can keep going with this pain I need something some relief if anybody has an idea let me know please i'm so over it all right guys thanks for listening to my soppy sad story wah, wah, wah.